So it's been a while since I covered the Nothing Phone 2, as we've been focusing our efforts lately on the Nothing Phone 2A, the latest budget phone. However, with the recent launch of the Nothing Phone OS 2.5.5 and the Google Pixel 8 Pro on the April patch, I think it's going to be pretty interesting to see how these stack up in performance as of right now. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up in three, two, go and see which one can get there first. Now, I quite like what both of these companies are doing when it comes to, you know, these respective phones. Nothing is really optimizing and improving on every update with the latest update bringing the chat GPT widget to the software, making it even more uh, AI rich. And that boots up first. We also have some AI wallpapers now on the Nothing Phone 2. And we also do have improvements in performance across the board, including the introduction of the RAM booster, which was already on the Nothing Phone 2a now the google pixel 8 pro actually has the tensor g3 it has the gemini the google bard it has all the good google stuff here and a really great camera so the nothing phone 2 did boot up faster than the pixel 8 pro okay so both of these do have face unlock so let's go ahead and see how they look in three two go and you can see both of them very fast three two go the Google Pixel 8 Pro has more of a animation effect, so it seems slower, but it's actually not really that different. You could see not a major difference. One more time. And let's go ahead and take a look at their fingerprints. Now, nothing places that fingerprint sensor really low. Pixel puts it more like how Samsung puts it. So let's go ahead and check those. And do you ever do that? You seen that screenshot I do? I do that all the time. Do you ever do that? Let me know down below on accident. You're like pressing the power button volume key. It just happens a lot on accident. And overall though, that was a terrible one by me. Let's go ahead and do it again. Overall though, I feel like the pixel has this like animation that's trying to make it look smooth going in. Whereas nothing has a little bit of an animation, but it kind of makes it look faster. So nothing seems to be going for a snappier look. Whereas pixel is trying to be a little bit more visually pleasing as you can see with that fly-in animation. Uh, in terms of the software though, these generally run like the same type of feel with a slightly different skin on top. Pixel is just pure, you know, Google-fied Android over here. And then the nothing has their, you know, Glyph interface and they got their own little look. It's pretty uh, bare bones though on both of them, which I quite like. You'll see this is definitely the upgraded version of the software, as if you go to widgets, you'll see we do have the chat GPT enhancements now to the Nothing Phone OS. Also, if we go to customization, you'll see right here under more wallpapers, the AI Studio right there as well. Now scrolling down, I also enabled the all new, this is the RAM booster. We were able to add up to eight gigs here. And so this is on the eight plus gen one, 12 gigs plus eight gigs. Pretty nice, nothing Phone OS 2.5. And this one right here is actually on the latest update of the Pixel software, April 5th patch right there. Now keep in mind one thing, I checked Geekbench before I started this video. These are both on the ARM CPUs, obviously. They're a little bit different though. You can see on each cluster, the nothing Phone 2 is actually clocked slightly higher. Cluster 1, 1 1.8, cluster 1, 1.7, 2.5 here on the second one, 2.37 and cluster three, three gigahertz, 2.91 gigahertz. So overall their clock speeds are just slightly boosted in every area for the Nothing Phone 2. So let's see if that plays into effect in the actual app test. All right, so everything is closed out for both phones. Let's begin with calendar, basically the same. Let's get up out of there, calculator basically the same. It looks like the nothing's navigation bar is actually longer and then the pixel is a little bit shorter over here. On the Samsung phone, you could actually change that size in the good luck module. Let's go here to timer, stopwatch, bedtime, and alarm. Overall, basically the same within these natural or these plain Google apps. Let's go to Play Store. Faster there, but that was loading up eBooks. So let me go ahead and close this out and redo it again. So it loads up the same page. Let's go Play Store. Yeah, it was still faster than Nothing Phone. Top charts, other devices, kids, apps. Scrolling down, how about TikTok? You know what, nah, don't, I'm not a big fan of TikTok. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go over here to 
um, Twitch. Overall, you can see just kind of generally navigating around Play Store and different sub menus about the same. How about Twitter or X, faster on the left? You know, I do think that these two phones are going for a slightly different value pitch at this price point. So the Nothing Phone is trying to give you a lot of performance for less money, but sacrificing an area, I think, a little bit, not, not a ton, but a little bit in the camera. Whereas Pixel gives you an amazing camera system, but you sacrifice a little bit in the performance. But still, they optimize it pretty well, so you don't really tell that much. But you start to see it when it's stacking up against a Snapdragon phone. Let's go into Best Buy that it's a hair behind in performance. You've seen right there. But either way, these are I think these are my two favorite like vanilla-like Android phones on the market today. I can't wait for... The Nothing Phone 3, I want to see what they do with the flagship this year. I'm super stoked about that. I hope they make the screen a little bit less bezel, maybe, well, I don't know, maybe a little bit bigger, a hair bigger, maybe 6.8 inches. And I want to see uh, more AI enhancements, as well as a better chipset, definitely a better camera. Battery is fine. It's been pretty good on the Nothing Phone 2. Um, but there's some enhancements to be made. I'm excited to see where it goes. Let's go into Temple Run. I also have been loving the Pixel 8 Pro's camera. It's been freaking amazing. Um, the AI enhancements are great. But this area of performance, it seems to pretty much not beat the Snapdragon-based flagship phones. Or I should say flagship chips, because Nothing Phone 2 is not a top-tier flagship. It's more of a upper-mid-range. Well, I don't even know. Some people would disagree. Um, for me, it's near flagship level. Flagship now is like S24 Ultra, 15 Pro Max. Like, so this is like upper or close to flagship. You'll see right here. But in the Nothing Phone line, it is the top of their line. So I wonder if Nothing will bring like a premium, like Ultra, Nothing Phone Ultra, or like something like that, like one of those higher, higher end phones. Once they establish themselves a little bit more, we'll go into Hill Climb 2. Then they have a three phone lineup, the budget A line, the regular line, and then a top, top line for those who are willing to pay that extra price. Or maybe they'll bring a folding phone like the Pixel Fold, the OnePlus Open, stuff like that. So far, it just looks like these games and these launching of these apps are just kind of similar with a little bit of a boost for the Nothing Phone, seeming a little bit faster than the Pixel and pretty much most of these apps and areas just seems like a little bit of a second faster. Let's go into Free Fire. And so generally kind of going through the OS, if you want a snappier experience, I think the Nothing Phone 2 wins over the, definitely wins over the Pixel 8 Pro. Um, if you like a very nice animation, a smooth like transition between everything, you like a smooth optimization, um, both of these can provide that, but I think the Pixel provides a really good, smooth Google experience if you like that a lot. And you really want to use a camera that will just blow your mind, <laughs> like with the results. You'll definitely want this. See, I don't really love the camera on the Nothing Phone 2. It's like one of the weaker points of this phone, which is why it's hard for me to want to use it every single day. Um, so once they get a more flagship level camera on here, it's going to change the game. For nothing, but the Pixel I would definitely pick for the camera. But look how much further ahead PUBG was. Like, we're still waiting on the Pixel over here. I'm already closed out of the app on Nothing Phone. So, yeah, much slower there for gaming on the right. Let's go into Geekbench 6. Faster on the left. We'll go into 3D Mark. You'll see a little bit faster on the left. In shot. A little bit faster on the left. Speed test net. Faster on the left by a little bit. So Nothing Phone 2, I think, is safe to say is a little bit snappier, a little bit quicker. Uh, about a second or a half a second in most of these launchings. Animations, though, were really good on both. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at the RAM management. I have been really blown away by the Nothing Phone's performance since day one. And it just seems to get better with every update. I really like the attention to detail. They're paying attention to the community. They're paying attention to what people are complaining about, and they're fixing this stuff pretty fast. So what this means is that um, and you're not seeing it here. What this means is a lot of like little areas of the phone that are getting messed up, you know, or buggy. 
nothing is working on it and they're pushing out updates pretty quick and it leads to a phone that keeps feeling good as you're using it. This phone's been out almost a year and it performs flawlessly like it did the first day. So very impressed there, really good RAM management there as well. So the Pixel 8 Pro, let's see how it does. I expect this to do great as well, mostly due to the fact that Google was smart and put 12 gigs of RAM in here. That allows this phone to have really decent multitasking abilities. It, it feels like the animation, while smooth, um, it feels like it's um, not as snappy looking to me as the Nothing phone. Looks like they're going for more of a visually pleasing effect. Now, of course, you go to developer options, you could change this um, really easily and make every phone, Android phone, feel like a rocket performer by turning off animations. But I like to test them at default so you can see what most people will experience. You see the Pixel was very good, zero reloads basically. So really decent there as well. Very impressed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run a CPU benchmark now. I will be back when they are done. These take about five minutes, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'll be back when they're done. All right, so the final scores are in and the Pixel still finishing up, even though it says 100%. We have 1733 on the single core for the Nothing Phone 2, 4489 on the multi-core score. This phone is taking quite a bit longer, but you can see we beat it out on the single. So a little bit shocking there, but nothing is doing something with the animations to feel um, a little bit snappier, but you can see faster on the multi-core score. If we go to the single cores, you can see, hold on, go to single cores here. You can see these are both beat out by S23s. All the S23s beat these phones. These are last year Samsung's Z Fold 4 beats these as well. And uh, Pixel 7 Pro, Surprisingly, the Pixel 7 Pro got a better single core. That's so weird. Let's go into the multi-core. And you can see beat out by similar phones here. Overall, though, I would say, you know, the Nothing Phone had the better multi-core score, um, but this had the better single. But multi is where it's really uh, a little bit more performance oriented. So I'm going to go to the Wildlife Extreme here and see how they do. Overall, I would say these phones are not too far apart in terms of you know, performance, but the nothing seems like the phone to buy for that snappy performance and the Pixel seems like the phone to buy for the camera and the you know, Google experience. So I'll be back when they're done with the 3D Mark Extreme. So Wildlife Extreme is in and wow, pretty close with the nothing phone with the victory only by not even one frame per second better on nothing phone. Um, the overall score, not even a hundred points better. So nearly neck and neck here in the Wildlife Extreme, you'll see scoring better than 51% of devices on the Pixel 8 Pro and then 53. But the win is a win. And even if it's by an inch, it's still an inch. The Nothing Phone 2 takes the victory in 3D Mark. So I think it's safe to say that the Nothing Phone 2 has won this battle. Even if it's by a little bit, it has won the battle. It is a faster phone than the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Is it the better phone? Not for everyone. If you want a better camera, the Pixel 8 Pro is much better. If you want a more premium build, the Pixel 8 Pro feels more premium for sure. Um, if you want better AI features, the Pixel wins there. But if you just want a simple Android phone with a decent camera, a really nice glyph interface on the back, a unique design, nothing phone has a, a name for itself for sure. So which one would you pick? Let me know down below. And if you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, and you want to see any more comparisons with either of these two phones, drop that down below in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.